to rename all of them. Wake County commissioners are currently discussing possible upgrades to the stadium that houses the Carolina Mudcats. CBS 17's Brea Hollingsworth live for us tonight at the Wake County Justice Center with why the county is doing that and what features we could see. Brea. Yeah, yeah, the point of these renovations is to improve both fan and player experience, but also make sure that they are in compliance with the MLB's Professional Development League standards. If not, the stadium could risk losing the opportunity to host the Mudcats. Here's the pitch. Carroll holds, and Torino swings and drills one deep right, way back. Gladney looking up. Goodbye! Lots of fans visit Five County Stadium each year to cheer on the Carolina Mudcats. It's a fan base that's growing, and the stadium is looking to grow with it. Is it almost half of the fans that are coming to games now are coming from outside of Wake County? That's why Wake County commissioners are discussing possible upgrades to the stadium to improve fan experience, but also comply with MLB professional development league standards. Some of the new improvements that they're looking at, adding a command post and security to the stadium, as well as renovating the existing home clubhouse for visiting teams. In addition to that, they're also looking into renovating batting and pitching tunnels and a new home clubhouse with female facilities. There are female staff who work on the team. There are female umpires and they currently do not have a, a place to change that is separate from from male facilities. They're also looking to draw in more fans too by adding more to improve fan experience. That includes adding a multi-story clubhouse and multi-purpose space. Tyler Barnes with the Milwaukee Brewers says the stadium brings over five million dollars in economic impact a year and they're hoping to grow that. We think there is an opportunity between the population growth Major League Baseball now offers us uh, some opportunities to understand more about where our fans are coming from and how we can reach them. Now I'm told that there will be more conversations about this project before any decision is made. Some board members even suggested today that they would like to uh, hear from the community before they move forward with any kind of plan. If they were to move forward, the stadium would have to have those improvements by opening day of 2025 in order to comply with the MLB standards. In Raleigh, Brea Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News. All right, Brea, thank you very much. Appreciate it.